Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with Jay. Of course, you know I am Jay. Today I'm going to be watching Dr. Sleep. A lot of people suggested this movie after I watched The Shining. It also won the poll between this and that, uh, that, that Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest movie or whatever. If you like this kind of content and you like my channel and you haven't already subscribed, please do so and check out the Patreon, patreon.com, get real with Jay for full length reactions. Still looking for my first subscriber. But without further ado, let's check out Dr. Sleep. Same music, I love it. It's pretty ominous music. It's the official word of the reactor is ominous. Where are we going here? What do we have here? Where are you going, Violet? Just to pick some flowers. Florida, 1980. It's amazing what they could do with drones these days that they just couldn't do back in the day because there was no drones. Well, hi there. Hey there. You're wondering why I'm wearing such a funny hat. <laughs> I always wear this hat. My very, very best friends, they just call me... Rose the hat. Hmm. It looks like a magician's hat. It is. It's a magic hat. Do you want to see? Nothing in my hat. Don't worry, that's my friend. You're missing the trick. Reach inside. Wow. You're a little magic too, aren't you? What? You don't eat flowers. But you do. Some you can. Honey. Special ones that taste best. I should get back to it. Yeah, I'd be freaking out too. You are a special little thing, aren't you? Oh, hold up. I remember that scene from the original movie. So we get to follow Danny around again. Wait, so that said 1980, and this movie was. Original movie is in 1980, but was the movie 1980 based in 1980? Pretty good job of recasting there. I remember the room wasn't dark though, in The Shining. We're gonna get some finger action. That didn't sound right. You guys get mad if I asked if this was before or after he and his father and his mother went to the resort. Hey, it's okay, Doc. It's, it's okay. You haven't talked since we left. After, I'm assuming after, since she said since we left. You ain't talking, huh, Doc? Wait, what? Weren't talking much first time I met you, neither. Oh, he's imagining him. You remember the first time we really talked when I spoke up inside your head? It made you feel good, right? Knowing you weren't alone? I won't shine, I mean. No more. It's dangerous. She found me. She come back and come back until she gets me. You're right. The overlook's condemned. Boarded up. They're stopping. Pause this real quick so you guys don't get mad at me. I was trying to figure out where I know this guy from, but he plays the old Captain America in the Captain and the Winter Soldier series. The black Captain America. Okay, now continuing. For, please forgive me. And they're reaching out for you. You said there were just pictures in the book and they couldn't hurt. It was always just pictures to me. But I didn't shine like you. Nobody shines like you. He's doing such a good job. He sounds so just like him. In that damn hotel, you was like a million watt battery all plugged in. And it ate it up. World's a hungry place. And the darkest things are the hungriest, and they'll eat what shines. What you can do is turn what they come for against them. My grandfather, he was a mean son of a bitch. Same type of dark as your dad. And when he died, I danced. But he kept on coming back. Suit all gray and stinking from whatever mold was growing on him in that box. Grandma, she taught me a trick. Gave me a prison. This is my magic harmonica. I want you to know this box. Don't just look at it, touch it. Why? 
because you're gonna build one just like it in your mind. So next time that bitch comes around, you'll be ready. There you are. You scared me half to death. Mm -mm -mm. It was probably harder to recast her than Danny because the original actress was just so unique. Facing his fears. Oh. <laughs> Danny said, This ends now. Hmm. You okay, Doc? He is now. Um, I'm okay. Interesting. That's very interesting. Notice this is actually darker too, like from a lighting aspect. So for I understand this is Danny grown up now. Jesus. Shit, I think you killed him. What if you killed him? Let me kiss him at her. Cleaned you out, homie. Oh, no, 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 no. no. So was he like gonna pay her out of just being nice? Then she come over anyway. Oh, she's still there. She stole his shit and he stole it back. Oh man, it's always a kid involved. <laughs> it needs to be changed. You can put her money back, Doc. You can do that much. She took mine. Doc. What would you do? I'd probably leave her a little anyway. I think that's what he's gonna do originally. It's like he's, she's gonna spend the money on her kid. She's gonna spend it on drugs. Same old story. A fight for love and glory. As time goes. Andy. That's right. You're prettier than you picture. Are you staying here or going somewhere? Was this Craigslist dating? Don't you want to watch the movie? I don't see what the fuss is about. Chat room romance. A little gross? Not no. interesting. It's interesting, I promise. Aren't you tired? Sleep? Okay. This is the best part. I watched you do it three times now and it never gets old. Sleep deeper. The pain you feel is only a dream. You can explain a lost wallet, but you can't explain this. Oh, I thought she was going to kill him. This you Give him claw marks? Every day when you look in the mirror. What a weirdo, man. That is interesting. That's some weird yeah. shit. Tell me in the comments, is that some weird shit? Excuse me, miss. Miss, you left something in the theater. You want to leave me alone? Well, hi there. She's like a hypnosis person. No, I don't. She can't get her. Or she knows the force. She knows the force. It's a Jedi mind trick. I swear to God, if one of you says that guy plays Obi-Wan, I'm going to block you. Abra, that's an interesting name. Does anyone know a magic word? Mm. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. But the magic word was please. One, that was the only one. Two, three. Abracadabra. Has anyone seen my spoons? I can do that. <laughs> you kind of look like the hound, just a shorter version. Whoa. Whoa, that's freaky. Classic modern mixed couple. Abracadabra. She can do it. So am I allowed to ask if Danny, the super shine guy, can see everybody else? The like Professor X? Oops. 
It's a nice ass trailer. I'd snake bite Andy, that's who you are. You're some crazy bitch who kidnapped me. Just the truth from now on. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh, she's got her shit, but <laughs> ten times better. Looks a little too well, don't it? I'm gonna offer you a deal I haven't offered anyone in almost 40 years. You're not a girl anymore, but you don't have a single dent. Ten years from now, you're still 15. A hundred, maybe 17. Day young. Live long. Okay, so I have to ask, are these a bunch of vampires? Like, what's the deal? And I know I'm gonna find out. Maybe that's like Jack, though. Is Jack the same guy from the photo at the end of The Shining? Danny's a long way from Boulder. I like the music of this movie so far. It's very old school, kind of borderline creepy, but not as annoying as the first one. It's kind of a cool little, uh, cool little display. Oh, that guy. You like it? Oh, yeah? Off the bus or riding your thumb? Yeah, the bus. Riding your thumb? Ride the bus this far north. This, they're looking for work. Running away from myself, I guess. Rent's 85 a week, payable up front. No Every 40 a month, did I do that right? Parties. Even let him paint the wall all blackboard so he could scribble his little puzzles up there. But Loki, that's kind of a nice place. This easy for Especially for 340 a month. Buy me more, talk about some work. Why are you doing this? And sometimes I get this feeling about people. Easier than you think. Right. I'm Danny the Shine Master. At some point, all these people are going to inter, like, intermingle, I guess it's not really the term, but cross paths. You ready? The immortals. Who, who are these people? You'll find out after. Lie down. There. No fear. You understand? She's like, yeah, she's scared of shit. We are the chosen ones. Here is a woman. Would she join us? Would she tie her life to our life? Say yes. Yes. Are they soul suckers? Huh, <laughs> I've gotten high that way. So I wonder if some people die in this process. So he's where they're at, right? So maybe he's drawn to them. Wait, that's it. Yeah. Uh, that is disgusting. Oh my God. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh. I just realized that's the chick and her son that he was with 10 minutes ago. But why now? Why after all these years? Oh, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the wisdom to know the difference. Anybody here a newbie? Yeah. My name is Dan. I see dead people. Thank you for your hospitality. Hey, Doc. You lost your watch. You were worried about the kid with uh, Goochers. What? The kid with Goochers or... Goochers. Gaucher's disease. You were washing your hands in the hospital bathroom and you, you left it on the soap dispenser. It's good to meet you. She's like, what the hell? Huh. How did you know? I wish I could say. Uh, lucky guess. They look like they're in the freaking uh, the interview room. They are, aren't they? Intuition or am I tripping? What do you want to do here? I don't know. I don't know. It Something can't be because I was at a... Different than I've been doing... I was at a resort, Something way up in the mountains. There. But the room was exactly the same. You go to church, do you believe in something? Something bigger than you? Our, our beliefs don't make us better people. Our actions make us better people. So Billy says you, you have bodily experience. That's right. Do dying people bother you? <laughs> We're all dying. The world is one big hospice with fresh air. Hmm. I like the music coming in. What are they, gypsies? 
Immortal gypsies? Well, hi there. You said it didn't hurt. Are you dead, though? You'll feel better when you eat. Am I still human? Do you care? Fair question. Do you? You doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. Do, do, do you want me to get you a doctor? The cat's on my bed. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll move her. No, I knew she would be. That cat always seems to know when it's time. I guess it's time. It's just Azzy being a silly old cat. Nope. The cat knows when it's time to go to sleep. I'm gonna die. The well, hospice is, man. Make you comfortable. You know, it was coming. Doesn't make it less scary. Yeah. Fair. Maybe it's just like you say, just going to sleep. I mean, there's nothing scary. It's just sleeping. You're a strange type of doctor. <laughs> I told you I'm not a doctor. Oh, I think you are. Dr. Sleep. Ah, the title. Doc, I am so scared it's going to hurt or be dark or uh, be nothing at all. And I don't want nothing to be scared of. Just going to sleep. Finally, true, restful sleep. Thank you, Doc. Look, I shouldn't be Interesting. Here. Let me go no, get you no, some. No, no, You're exactly where you should be. I see my wife. Was that a soul? Hi. <laughs> Interesting. So she, the movie's gonna tell me, but I have to ask out loud. That's my job as a reactor. Ask things that I'm thinking. Little girl's talented. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm thinking about my dad. He died when I was five. So the only way I, I got to know him when I went dark, when I, when I drank. He also stood in a room like this once, wanting to get well for me and my mom. So thank you for us both, I guess. Oh, no. That cat's a grim reaper, man. I guess I don't need to ask. I'm not scared of hell, dog. Don't think there is such a place anyway. Come fly with me. Let's fly. In a minute, little pen pal. So you lived in that little halfway house for eight out eight eight years? Gramps, you seen Rosie? Watchtower? Me feeling okay. So far, these people confuse the hell out of me. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm just enjoying it as two, three different storylines that will eventually come together. Actually, three if you include the little hey, black girl. Sorry to interrupt. Any luck? You got to open a canister, Rosie. That kid in Delaware wasn't so steamy, and it's already showing. You see Grandpa Flick's hair, yeah? Yeah. I don't think he's well. <laughs> You need to eat. All of us. So look for Danny, as I'm guessing. He used to be more steam in the world. Oh, don't be daft. Come on. But it's true, Rosie. There's less steam out there, and it's weaker, too. It's I'll open a canister tonight to tide everyone up. Thank you. So those are all the people they've trapped. <laughs> so nice little containers, though. Look like shakers. She didn't take any. She like the original one, so she's like the strongest, maybe. I dare I will. 
He hits the ball every time, like he can read the pitcher's mind. Mm. See, you watch. One of these days, one of those talent scouts is gonna get wind of Brad there. You watch. So just feed on little kids. What is this? Like how Brad's a star and his uh, either parent is there watching play. Just saw your game. You wanna hop in? I'll give you a ride. No, it's real close. I'm good. We're friends. If you wanna hop in? I'll take you right home. I'm my friends. You can take me right home. I trust me. Oh no, that's right. I trust you. She manipulates people. Shit. So they're not gonna try to convert him. They just want him for more steam. No, 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 no. Please let me go, please. Can't watch this shit. Number nine. I can't look away either. Oh, what the hell? So where does she stab him in the heart? No, because he's still alive. What the fuck is going on, man? She can feel it. She's like Danny. Oh, they're gonna feel her or hear her. What is he? She gonna tell him? Oh, shit, that's like when he was in bed. The first one, foaming at the mouth. Uh oh, red rum. If this was a mini series, the episode would have ended on that. Okay. So she's like the super, she could feel it and they can't. Cause she felt the presence of the little girl and Danny. They killed him. So I wonder if her parents have any idea what she's going through. If shine in this reality is just like a normal thing that some kids have, some people don't like mutants. We had a looker. Tonight. Mm hmm Where? East Coast, I think. You're saying someone looked in from 1,500 miles away? Girl, I think. Then we need to look into it? In case her parents freak out, send her to a psychiatrist, or they get her on pills, could ruin the steam. I don't know where she is, but when she comes back, and she'll be back, I'll be ready. So Danny's like, let's fucking go. Yeah, you gotta erase that or something, dude, because that makes you look wacky. Right, Rom! But what if someone were to go into that room and they're just looking, they're like, what the hell? And what? You hope you're okay, your friend Dan. Guess what? I made a new friend. His name's Dan. Last night. I, I'm okay. I know that head of yours is like a radio sometimes. Wait a minute. That's the baseball player? Isn't he the kid in uh, The Boys? Or not The Boys. Uh, what's the one where they're like... It's like him and his friends. How's the book? Good. I'm going to start my homework. You think Apple sponsored this? Think Harvard in three years. The laptops and the computers at school. He's trying to make heads or tails of the situation, I'm guessing. So she's a ward. That's pretty amazing that she could do that and write in her sleep. That's pretty cool. Whoa, hold up. Oh, 
interesting. So she can see seeing the world through her. This I, yeah, this movie is nothing like I thought it was going to be, and I had no idea how it was going to be. No, you're not being followed. You're literally being possessed. She's like the leader, and she gets stuck grocery shopping. Don't touch my hat. If she got a nosebleed too, that's crazy. Dad? Uh, Dad? What happened? He just dropped. Who's Tony? Oh shit, Tony. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, so... Interesting. We've got a problem. Talk to me. The looker? Yeah, she found me again. We have to have her, Crow. Does she know who you are? Where we are? No, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. That's not the important look. I tried to turn around on her and she blew me out of her like I was nothing. Is she food or do we turn her? We don't turn her. If she's what you say she is, then we, we don't want anyone with that power in the knot. The knot. Have a great day. Hi, right, I'm Agent Colson. Oh, so she's a naughty little girl. Tell me in the comments, did you guys skip school? I never skipped school. I've skipped periods. But I had a friend who lived like literally right next door to the high school. Damn, she came to him. Hi. Oh. You can hear me. Let's use our outside voices, all right? You tracked me down? It was easier than I thought. Like GPS, but in my head. You're magic. Like me. I don't know about magic. I always called it the shining. And yeah, we both shine. When I was a kid, I didn't understand the shining. I called it Tony. I thought he was my imaginary friend. I thought you were my imaginary friend. That's fair. How many of us are out there? There's a lot of people who have a little bit of shine. They don't even know it. But I only met two or three people in my whole life who knew they shined. The baseball boy shined. His name was Bradley Trevor. These people. They look like people anyway. They took him. And they ate him. They ate his shine. If you could get something of his, if you could go to Iowa, Whoa. then his parents would know where he was. They could bury him right at least. If I can touch that glove, I can track easy, them. Easy, easy. Because bury the chunk. He was wearing it. That bro. Go home. Keep your head down. And hope to God that these people are anything like them, that they that they don't see you. It's not what she wants to hear, dude. Keep your head down. Stay safe. Like how far away is she from school right now? <laughs> hey, Azzy. You got your wires crossed tonight. There's no one in that room. Oh, but there is. What that is. Whoa! Hey, I, 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 I thought, it was... thought I was from the Overlook. Almost locked me up. What happens to them in those boxes? Do they die in there? Do you care? I missed you. Has it been a long time? This world is a dream of a dream to me now. Eight years. Why are you here? I'm here because it all comes round. Huh? These empty devils ever found you when you was attacked? You'd be long dead. And they've noticed that little girl. They might kill her, they might turn her. You can't let them. Why me? Because she showed up. Hell, Doc, why me? You just walked on into my kitchen one day, and I'm still on the hook. What the hell am I supposed to do? Get her what she asked for. You won't see me again, Doc. This is my last dream. It seems to me you grew up fine, son. But you still owe a debt. Hmm. Interesting. He's just trying to get out of this stuff and he can't. I'm flying out to see Momo in the morning. I'll be back as soon as I can. Is she gonna pull through this time? I don't know. Let me know his daughter has powers. I hope so. 
I thought her eyes were going to be glowing. I'll be completely honest with you, but they weren't. Mm. I think she's flying to see the girl. I had to think about that for a second. Like, where's she going? Maybe she's tracing her conscience. some pretty cool camera work. You... Oops. <laughs> well, hi there. Ha! <laughs> she caught her ass. You said you'd come back. <laughs> and you did. But you don't have any eyes. Good. Oh, that's freaky. Freaky. Get out! Ah! Ah! Jesus. Oh, damn. Feel that. Or you better project back home to your trailer. Damn. I mean, I'm not rooting for her because they're obviously evil people, but she just got her ass whooped. Oh, I know that hurt. Bro, a little bitch that trap for me. Oh, your head. Calm down. We know where she is now, right? Now we know. She was in my head. What does she know? I don't know. No. There's a problem. Not now. Grandpa Flick. I think he's cycling. Uncle Dan. Uncle Dan. I heard her, and she deserved it. That's not the best part. The best part is the best part is I got in her head. What have you done? If they open that door, they're gonna see all that crazy shit on this chalkboard. We're gonna do this, and let's do this. Hi, Abra. I can hear you. I thought we lived forever. She didn't say that. I said live long. I say he's going. I wonder how many people they've lost like this, though. I'm scared. No, you're not. You're a king, and you eat fear. And he is getting worse every time we see him. Does he steam? <laughs> Makes sense, you don't wanna waste that steam, I guess. Well, it's for him, I need your help. The first thing I need is for you to listen to a story and try harder than you've ever tried to believe me. Sure, man, whatever you want. How's it going? Shouldn't you be getting ready for school? Who's that? He's my friend. You should have seen her face. Scared like all those kids were scared. All those kids she's killed. How'd you do it? Like this. Just a little push. Oh. His daddy's typewriter. Sorry, I didn't mean to. What were all those boxes? Nothing. Liar. When I was a kid, I bumped into something like these things, and it wasn't a person, it was a place. They closed it down after and let it rot. We're almost ready, we're just loading up. Good. I don't think you should come, Rosie. She tagged you. She got in your head. She's my girl. Right now, as far as we know, you are the only one of us she could track. She could run. We set another trap. If she pulls a trick on you? But I got some tricks of my own. Hey, I think we're here. Let's see if I can. Man, don't get your boy killed, dude. Oh man, they're gonna dig this kid up. That's gross. You should go home. What? No, not you. I can handle it. I'll take it from here. So, important question. Why wouldn't he just okay, talk to her through this. their thoughts? That way, oh boy doesn't think he's fucking nuts. You smell that? Used to hunt. I clipped this buck. I was tracking it for two days. Five days later, I'm trying a different spot. Miles away. I come around, and I smelled it. Found that buck. 
huddled up to a hollow trunk, dead for days. Never hunted a day since. This is the same story. Uh, of course. Billy. Oh. Oh man, that's so gross. Oh man, that's nasty. Ugh. Why wouldn't he automatically think that Dan's the one who killed the kid? Otherwise, how would he know? I know he told him a story, but anyone do that to a little boy? Hey, people. I need you to show your parents what's happening. No, they almost think I'm normal. Rose will go through them to get to you. She'll cut them down without a second thought. And she's coming, Abra. So what's the stop we got? So what can they do, though? Honestly. They still got those old deer rifles. Your uncle, Dad? Before I call the police, hey, huh? Hey, hey, huh? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Ah! Abra cadaver, bro. I'm sorry, Mr. Stone. I am a friend. Feel you, bro. I'll take one. Thanks. They know about my daughter. They do. And sooner or later, they're coming. Dad, remember when I put all those spoons on the ceiling? Yeah, that was me. You sure you want to do this? I have to. She's tracking them. She's not here. I'm ninety-five. Bury the crow, the snake, and a few others. Rose? Didn't see her. But they're coming. She showed us she's badass. They're following but us. Danny hasn't showed us shit. Concentrate. You gotta keep it up until they land. I know. These people are like vampires, man. That shit ain't gonna work. Okay, Crow Daddy. Go get her. Be mighty suspicious that she was setting our ass up. You know what I mean? We followed this random girl to this random place in the middle of nowhere, just sitting there by herself on a random table. I'd be very cautious. You look relaxed. You feel relaxed, don't you, Abra? Mm, trying to Jedi mind trick on her. Just relax. Just friends. Good friends. Oh. Well, shit. The way they talked you up, I was thinking it'd be a little harder than that. Oh, <laughs> The fuck? Fucking parlor trick. <laughs> Get out of it! There's a lot of steam being wasted. So I didn't expect them to take out the whole damn squad. But when the one dude's still alive, right? Kind of like her main dude. I don't remember seeing him get popped. And then obviously the little Betty Boop chick. The blonde Betty Boop. His friend's gonna get killed. I just know it. There's no way they both survive. Obviously Danny's not going anywhere. Oop. Stop. Ooh, she can control him. Aren't you sleepy? Oh no. What the other dude? Sleep! Uncle Dad, wake up! Uh, uh, fucking man. There he is, went around. Oh no. No! Billy! Oh man. There's one missing. Where's the crow? Oh, Abra. Oh, damn. Abra! So Rebecca Ferguson's character probably sent him to the house and the others to the slaughter. No good, you're awake. <coughs> What's wrong with me? You've been dose missing. More than I've ever used before. 
What happened to my dad? A lot of good people killed today. A lot of good people. Please hear me. Ain't nobody hearing you. I'm confused though why she feels like she has to talk out loud to reach Dan. When earlier they were communicating non-verbally. Do you go grab the scotch? Oh. I want to know what kind of scotch that is. Oh, please, please, please. Abra. Abra. There you go. Tony. Help me, please, Tony. <laughs> no, nah, man, you can't. It's gonna be like, wait a minute, who the heck? She's too young to be drunk. Crownville, New York. Who are you? I'm the guy that killed your friends. Neat trick. Haven't seen this one before. Seems to me you know enough to know you might want to sit this one out. Of course you wouldn't wear your seatbelt. Who? He's not dead though, is he? I figured he'd be kind of immortal almost. Walking dead, dude, is he turning? I hope that hurts. So I got this poor random girl walking down the middle of the road at night. She took out your whole cabinet. That shit makes her like super strong, probably. Where are we going? Colorado. Is he gonna go to the place? I don't think we can beat her. Not by ourselves. Hmm. Neither one of them were in their seatbelts. It's my mom. What do I say to her? Hi, mom. Oh, thank God. Abra, are you okay? Where are you? I love you. Oh, hell no. Do you know how much cell phones cost? I like this part with them driving. It's very much like the original movie. Obviously on purpose, but it's just, uh, I appreciate it. I noticed that. Is that that one place? I didn't see the name of it. Where Dick Halloran, that's his name, Halloran, rented the snowcat. It was the OG music. It's got a very dark tone to it, like the, like the Imperial March. Tell me that crappy little car made it all the way up there without snow tires or anything? Apparently. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna stay in the car, keep the heater running. I don't want you spending a minute inside there if you don't have to. You see lights on the mountain over there? You blast me, okay? I have to wake it up. The heartbeat is kind of creepy. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> that was completely random. Coincidental. Please tell me he goes into the ballroom and sees the bartender or a version of the bartender. Is he going to 237? The door numbers are different. Look, I know he's gone through a lot of stuff, but he is ballsy as hell going to this place. I'd be scared as shit. Is 
So did they never rent that hotel out again? Yeah, going to the place. Please tell me he sits down and orders a drink like the old man did. Slow night, Mr. Torrance. Not for long, I imagine. You're a whiskey man, are you not? I was, most of the time. Pouring some nasty ass Jack. On the house. This was your brand, Jack Daniels. I'm afraid you've confused me with someone else. It's Lloyd. How cool would that have been if they, if, if Jack Nicholson was, comfortable and we were was cast as the bartender this time around? I was 20 when she died. Cut Although maybe that's what they're trying to do face. with I him, because he kind of looks eyes. like Jack with his hair and, and the I way he's dressed up. I could hardly look at her, and she saw that. Maybe something warm. Push away such unpleasantries. Don't you want to hear about it? Oh, so he she is playing wife. him. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. It still would have been cool if they got Jack Nicholson to do it. How badass would that have been? Man takes a drink. The drink takes a drink. And then the drink takes a man. Medicine is what it is. Bonafide cure all. I'm out of Frank August. The mind is a blackboard. A man tries. He provides, but he's surrounded by mouths. Those mouths eat time. They eat your days on earth. They just gobble them up. It's enough to make a man sick. So tell me, Bub, are you gonna take your medicine? I'm not. Dan, she's here. Showdown at the Overlook. What do we do now? We head inside. She'll find us. I heard Kubrick made them shoot that scene like a gajillion times because it didn't make it look like real blood. She loves it. Well, well, well. Hi there. When this starts, run. And then I will find you and you will scream for years until you die. You should be afraid. You are the one who killed my crew, aren't you? Go. Oh, they put her ass in the maze. There's no way they freeze her out like that. She's not dressed for it and um, there's no way. You're gonna die here. Hmm. Is that what you really think? You're gonna hurt me. Yes. Oh. She's evil, dude. You know, you remind me of myself. I can really see it now. You've got a darkness in you, dear. Pain purifies steam. Fear too. So, you understand. She's not really out there, though. I was just like you when I was younger. So much like me. Your mind. It's so... This isn't your mind, is it? This isn't you at all. You're just the fate. Oh, I'm trying to get her in the box. Almost had her too. Run. Danny? That's your name, isn't it? I see the grease all over you. You don't shine quite the same. Where have you been hiding? Well, for this so is Jack. Long, you can get Back in Danny's mom up against the stairs. Too. Indulge yourself. 
No consequences. You must be lonely. I mean, the last one in the world. I'm just the prettiest. I assume you know my answer. Ay, ay, ay. I seem to have nicked your femoral artery there. She's really strong, too. The one with the funky helmet. I mean, the mask. They're like, oh, hey, Danny. What's for dessert? Hello, Danny. Come and play with us. Forever. And ever. And ever. So did they get Danny or what? Look like it. Look like he was dead as fried chicken. Whoop. The sisters. Uncle Dan. Is she dead? Great party, isn't it? Is she in 237? She don't know about 237 though. At least they show her kind of scared and fearful. She's crying. Try it. There you are. Barbara. Why are you smiling? Because you don't know where you're standing. I mean the body you're standing in. The face you're wearing. I don't understand the boiler room reference. There you are. You were supposed to run. I didn't want to leave you. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I can't hold it off for much longer after you need to run. No, I'm not going anywhere without you. Run, run! Hmm. Is he trying to blow it up or? Dan wants to blow it up and they don't want him to, obviously. Or maybe. <sighs> See you, Dan. She going to jail for arson. The fire spread fast, destroying the hotel, purifying it. Deep inside, I knew. I knew you were okay. What? Do you think she was right when she said she wasn't the last one? Maybe there's more of them, or things like them are worse. But I wonder if he is dead, and she's you shine. And on. she's talking to him like he was talking to Dick Halloran. Dinner's ready. Yep. Who are you talking to? No one. That's not true. I was talking to Dan. You coming, sweetheart? In a minute. So they obviously didn't get rid of them all. 
She's got to make her own boxes now. Hmm. All right, so just finished, obviously, watching uh, Dr. Sleep. I'm not going to say my thoughts on it until I'm done editing because I found that once I edit, I go through and there's all sorts of things that I catch that I didn't catch the first time around. That's a lot to take in. Anyway, I'll be right back once I get done editing. Thank you so much for making it this far into the reaction with me all the way to the end. You guys are the real MVP. Okay, as promised, now that I'm done editing the video with this movie, you obviously have Danny Torrance, you have Abra, and then you have the knot. And I knew at some point all these characters were going to interact, but it felt like the movie was so decentralized, unlike The Shining, right? The Shining is about the, the Overlook and Jack and Dan and Wendy Torrance. So there was a lot more time to kind of dig into the psyche of each character. But in my opinion, Dr. Sleep was, it just felt kind of all over the place. You know, when we focus in on Dan growing up and dealing with his, his demons, he gets the job at the hospice place, and so the title of this movie is Dr. Sleep, as introduced in the hospice about Dan. And so, you know, my expectation is to see a lot more of Dan working in the hospice, but we only see him there a few times. You know, we have Abra, because this movie about Abra kind of stepping into the place as, you know, Dan steps out of the role. And then we have the whole dynamic with the knot. You know, I thought it was very confusing. The whole concept of this crazy group of seemingly immortal until they die like regular humans the idea of them eating feeding off the the dead off the shine and of course the kids people with the shine are the ones that they seek it's weird because they kind of inhale the shine but then they also stick the shine in like a little thermos you have the not eating the shine then you have the ghosts of the overlook eating the people who eat the shine which, by the way, the Overlook messes with you. So I think the lore is that Jack Torrance had the shine. Dan definitely has a shine. But does Wendy have the shine? Because she saw some of the crazy shit in the Overlook as well. So it's a little... I don't know if that's I don't know if that's one of the plot holes out there. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to think about it too deeply. But these are just notes that I took while I was kind of stepping through and editing the movie. One of the things that... I think people would have missed there was the heartbeat all throughout the movie. I thought that was really cool. And there's one scene where the heartbeat kind of speeds up. And then sometimes the heartbeat slows down, depending on what's going on during the movie. Oh, and as I was saying with the knot, right? They seem kind of vampirish and immortal. And they seemingly lived or could live up to hundreds of years. Not forever, but hundreds of years. And you'd think at some point, especially with the old one who died, he just would have accidentally died at some point along the way. Especially because, you know, one or two gunshots, a car accident, or just aging out, they could all die just as easy as anyone else. I feel like they tried to make you sympathetic to their mission, because we got introduced, obviously, to Rose, but we don't really know her origin story. We know Crow, we know the old man, and obviously Snakebite. They spent a lot of time developing Snakebite as a character. And again, all of these people died so easily. It seems like a lot of time wasted on the screen. I thought that when... Dan went back to the Overlook. It was really cool how he, he was kind of stepping through memory lane and remembering those things. You know, he went to the old bedroom, got the damage in the door, and I thought that was a really cool. It, it's not really an Easter egg when it's forced, right? But it was a really cool throwback to him kind of peeking, peeking through the door like his dad did. You know, the whole here's Johnny moment. I thought that was very well done. That was really cool. And I love the fact that he went back into the gold room. I think that's what it's called, the gold room. And instead of having a conversation with Lloyd, it was Jack Torrance. The dialogue between Jack Torrance and Lloyd in the original Shining, nothing's ever going to change that. I mean, Jack Nicholson did such a great job, a tremendous job. And I like Ewan McGregor as an actor, but he's obviously no Jack Nicholson. And I thought the conversation between Jack and and Dan was a little dull and hollow until they got to the point where the, where the alcohol came in, where the alcohol is the medicine to deal with all the BS that kind of goes on in the, in the world of the man as he's trying to take care of the, the wife and the kids and work. You could see that that was really crushing to Dan. And I don't know how many people picked up on that. I mean, if you guys are still watching this, then you really love this movie and you're in for this reaction. So you've seen this stuff over and over and over and you've had a long time to process it. I don't know if I picked up as much on it watching it the first time as I did kind of stepping through and editing it. And you could just see the pain because Dan lived his whole life. He knows he left his dad out there to freeze and die. And, you know, his mother died. And God, I mean, the stuff that he's had to endure his, his life, I don't know that... He, all of that 
to bring him to the point where he's talking to the idea or the ghost of Jack, just for Jack to say those very deep, hurtful things. You could just see the pain on his on his face. Overall, like, this really isn't my type of movie, but I really did enjoy the movie, despite what I've just said for the last five minutes. It's not something that I would probably watch again. If someone were to ask me if I would recommend the movie, I would say, sure, if you're into these type of movies, it's kind of a suitable sequel to The Shining in a way, but I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, it's just like The Shining. I mean, it's not a remake, obviously, but for everything that The Shining was, you know, there's a few things that this movie just kind of lacked. But again, I love kind of the the kickback to the original movie when it came to the music and even the the uh, the video style of when they're following the car through the mountains. You know, it's a little shaky, almost like it was done with a helicopter. It probably was like the original movie. And I really appreciated that. That's very, that's kind of an artful kickback. I think if the entire movie would have been like that, it probably would have, in my opinion, felt like a, a better movie. So guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you are subscribed. Obviously, if you're still listening, you're interested. So I do appreciate it. Check out the full reaction on my Patreon, Patreon, Get Real with Jay. And once I start getting some subscribers to that, I'll start throwing movie polls up on there and we'll have a great time. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next Get Real With Jay. Mm -hmm.